The accused driver of a car that killed a little boy while he ate ice cream should never have been in the United States to begin with. Now the boy's father can only draw strength from the kindness of strangers as he gets ready to bury his son. That's really amazing. They all get together just because of uh, a, a tragic situation uh, that my son was involved in. Two more women were involved in. It's, it's just, it makes my, uh, that's the only reason I, I can talk right now. Otherwise, I'll probably be under, sound under my bed crying. Police say Francis Hernandez, this man, plowed his SUV into a pickup truck, sending it flying into the front window of the Baskin Robbins ice cream shop at Mississippi in Havana. That's the truck that killed the little boy and two women. Hernandez is now being detained by federal immigration officials. They believe he is in the United States illegally. Fox 31's Christian Ayer spoke exclusively to the man who tried to rescue the little boy. Kristen? Every time Dwayne Stokes comes to the ever-growing memorial dedicated to the three who died here, he comes with a heavy heart. To see that the other night just destroyed me. What the ex-firefighter saw was a three-year-old boy draw his last breath. I just want the community to know, the parents to know that he didn't die alone. Seconds after a driver plowed into Deborah Sarecki, her friend Patricia Gunthorpe, and little Martin Kudlis, Stokes, who works nearby, rushed to the boy's side to try to save him. I asked the uh, little boy to squeeze my hand to let me know he was all right. Uh, he had no look of pain on his face. He was just like in a state of shock. He squeezed my hand, and as soon as the paramedics rolled up and opened the doors, his head just fell over to the side. Today, those tragic last moments made worse by news that the suspect, Francis Hernandez, should not have been in the United States in the first place. He shouldn't have been out. He should have still been in jail. Our latest information is that he is a non-U.S. citizen. I like to blame the judge on this one. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, you let a person like this out, it makes no sense. He had so much problems. He did so much bad things. He had no license. It's, it's just the guy should have been in jail. And one with a long rap sheet, including at least 16 arrests. You're going to tell me he got arrested 16 times and he was out and about driving recklessly that night? It just doesn't make any sense how he was even out. The case is strikingly similar to another one just last week. Adrian Pizana Rodriguez, an illegal immigrant accused of crashing into this apartment and killing a man. He, too, had been arrested and released over and over. Immigration officials say both accidents could have been prevented if local law enforcement had just informed them. Now the community says something needs to change. Is it going to take something that tragic for the justice system to step up and start doing their job? Federal immigration officials told me it's possible local agencies simply didn't know Hernandez was here illegally, even when he was arrested numerous times. They say his rap sheet shows he went by several different aliases, and he had also listed at least three different birthplaces, California, Mexico, and Guatemala. Leland? That's a lot of places to live. <laughs> Christian Ayers live tonight in Aurora.